Hey guys and gals. Um, so I wanted to do a quick, even though it's probably not going to be quick, it never is, um, favorite, I guess summer favorites. I don't usually buy a lot of stuff. Like I usually buy the same skin products and I haven't really been on like an eye, what is happening? Sorry. I haven't really been on much of like an eyeshadow kick or anything. So <clears throat> I hadn't purchased any palettes in a really long time, but I don't know what happened lately. I all of a sudden was like, wow, I have a lot of new things that I kind of want to talk about. I apologize. I have a fan going back there, and so my hair is like... <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, when I went to... Uh, my boyfriend and I went to um, Fargo on our spring break or on his spring break um so i did pick up a couple things so in case you don't know um i live in canada and in canada we do not have alta so that is very annoying i think we might be getting one but who knows if we do it probably won't be coming to our city anytime soon but yeah, so every time we go to Fargo, I make sure to stock up on stuff because Tarte Shape Tape is not available at Sephora, as I'm sure everybody already knows. So I always make sure to go pick up some Shape Tape every time we go there. So I had this one to start off with. I had actually ordered this online to replace. I had run out, and this is fair beige, but it's very light, as you can see. Like, I mean, I'm pretty fair. But this, I find, was giving me that like concealer raccoon eyes so I'm like I'm just gonna get one shade darker I think it's actually a, a couple shades darker so this is a fair light neutral so as you can see there is quite a difference so this one's kind of more my skin tone so I've been using this one and I really like this color sometimes if I feel like I look really tired I'll just like put a dab of the um, fair beige yeah fair beige underneath but um I did just purchase this one I don't know why I hadn't tried this but I feel like I was just too obsessed with shape tape that I didn't like anything else so I tried the instant age rewind this one is in fair apparently I should have tried neutralize or something because I think that one is more brightening um but I really liked this one underneath uh, the Fairlight Neutral, because I find, I was finding it looked really dry and dehydrated under my eyes, and I'm like, I'm not that old, I mean, I'm old, but I'm not that old, so it shouldn't be looking like crepey under my eyes, so I use a little bit of this, and then put that Fairlight Neutral on top, and it seemed to work really good together. That would just kind of help with hydrating under the eye, even though I do use a moisturizer under my eye I find if I use too much then I can't set my under eye properly so use those two together and they seem to work really nicely but I'm always on the hunt for a new one that's even better than shape tape so I ended up ordering the Jouer because I've heard really good things about this one sorry if that was blinding uh, Jouer because it has hyaluronic acid in it in chiffon. Chiffon is actually very light. So I was worried that I might have to return it. But once I put it on, it has a little bit of a yellow undertone to it. This is what it looks like. Just show you. I don't want to swatch it because I just washed my hands and I don't want to be swatching. So it is a little, I don't know if you can see that really. It has a little bit of a yellowy undertone to it, but I have a yellow undertone to my skin. So hopefully I'm wearing it today. I hope it's not too light. It might be a little too light, but I don't feel like returning it because, again, I can't get it in store. I have to order it on Sephora. I also picked up a few Huda products, and it's Huda, not Huda. I just wanted to make sure because I went to her channel because I'm like, am I saying this wrong or what? I was saying Huda, and she pronounces it Huda, so it's her name, so whatever so I picked up the neon orange palette I haven't tried it yet I'm a little bit nervous I'm not gonna lie as you can see I'm a very neutral kind of gal but I think it'd be fun for like if you're going to a concert or if 
you know, you had an event to go to that was like funky. And I just didn't want to miss out because I missed out on the electric palette and I was really pissed that I didn't get it. So this is the palette. It's actually showing up really true to color in in my phone. So it's really cute. I am excited to try like the bright pinks, the fluorescent pinks, and then this one here. It actually does show up more of like a neon yellow than green, but I'm excited. Obviously it's not an everyday kind of thing, but whatever. Um, and then I also picked up this from Huda. I didn't get it on the site, I just got it on Sephora. Um, it might be like crusty right now because I just used it. My lips are really dry. Um, this one here in Staycation, which is what I'm wearing, but I'm wearing it with a couple products. So I always layer my lip products because I can never get like the perfect nude color for me without it being either like concealer, bleh, concealer lips or like too brown or too orange so I mix that with I also just bought this which is the dose of colors um, liquid lip in sand so I'll show you what that looks like and then I also used a lip liner this isn't my regular lip liner this one's okay I'm gonna say it's just okay it's covergirl no kidding it's in it's Maybelline uh, in Nude Whisper, which is nice, but um, I was actually using the Rimmel lip liner in Innocent, and that's my favorite one. It just is the exact same color of my lips. That one's a little more orangey on my lips. And then I also just dabbed a little bit of this on top. This is the Bare Minerals Cult, and Cult is very very nude like that would give you concealer lips so I just dab it just like a little bit in the middle just to neutralize that or get rid of that orangey tone and make it a little bit cooler uh, when I was in Fargo I also picked up sorry it's dirty looking uh, Sonia Kashuk sponge I love these because they're massive and I should have bought the two pack because I don't know when I'm gonna go back next to Target but yeah, I should have bought two. And it lasted a really long time, my last one. So uh, when I was at Ulta, I also picked up a Laura Geller uh, baked blush in Brighton in Honeysuckle. I swear all of my blush colors look exactly the same. So it's just a marbled blush. I'll just swatch it. Okay, that's not a great swatch, sorry. It does go on quite pigmented though, so just be aware of that. And I also picked up, <clears throat> we have this here, so I don't know why. I For some reason I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to get this here. We probably don't have it in Canada, um, but we do. So it's called I'm So Lit, and this is a Wet n Wild highlight. I'm just gonna swatch it on. It actually looks really dark in the lid like but once you actually put it on it's very bright and light or not yeah it is but you just can't see it that well my hands are dry sorry but yeah it's very brightening so anyways I really like that one and I've been obsessed with bronzers lately. Uh, when I went to Ulta, I was looking for, <clears throat> excuse me, the Glamour Bronze in Icon. Of course, they were sold out. Every time I go to that one, maybe because they don't have one in, um, oh my God, what am I trying to say? Grand Forks, maybe because they don't have an Ulta in Grand Forks, I assume people from Grand Forks drive to Fargo a lot of the time to pick stuff up at Ulta. 
They only have a Sephora and JCPenney, I believe. <clears throat> so anyways, I picked this one up. I really like it. I was trying to find something that was close to the Marc Jacobs because I was too cheap, even though once you see how much I bought, you would have been like, should have just bought the Marc Jacobs. Um, but I really like that color. It's really good for me. It's not too warm. Um, I also picked up another bronzer recently. This, this was a while ago that we went to Fargo. I picked up the Fenty, Fenty Beauty Bronzer in Private Island, which I think is a little more pigmented than that one. So this is what it looks like. It does look really dark. But I wore it today and I don't feel like, I don't know, I don't feel like it's too dark. Um, that might be because of the brush that I used too. I remember when I first started wearing it, I was worried and I almost returned it because it looked super dark. But I was using um, this brush here, the Bobbi Brown bronzer brush. And that one is very dense and it packs on the pigment. So I ended up buying the Eco Tools brush, this one here, based on um, Kathleen Lights's review, and I love it. It doesn't apply too much product, it's so easy to blend out, and this is such a soft powder and very blendable that even if you do put too much on, it's easy to just kind of blend out with like a Sorry, my brush is dirty, but basically like any kind of duo fiber brush. Super blendable. And I also used this under my bronzer today. And on top of powder, so it's super blendable as well. Huda um, Tan Tour. I really want on a Huda Extravaganza. And I knew, like I'd watched a lot of reviews, so I knew this was going to be really dark, so I bought mine in Fair, which still looks really dark, but like I said, I am wearing it today under the uh, Fenty bronzer. So, I mean, you see how light my skin is, and they both work for me, so, yeah. And, oh, I forgot to mention this product, too, when I was in... Um, Fargo, I picked up the 213 brush, uh, Real Techniques. So this is just a foundation brush, which looked really weird to me because I'm not used to using brushes anymore. I always use the Beauty Blender or that Sonia Kashuk um, sponge. And this is really nice. So I use usually the Freshwear foundation in 420. It looks kind of dark, but again, it works. And so, yeah, super blendable, really easy to use. The only area I found it hard to blend was kind of around the nose area. I find mine kind of cakes up around the nostrils, so that's why I like my sponge better. But if you like using brushes, that one's really nice and so quick. I find it's just like you just, it's done in two seconds. And I'm not fast at putting my makeup on. Ask my boyfriend. He will tell you. Um, I also, I didn't, well, I guess I bought it. I got this in my FabFitFun box. And this is the Ico Liquid Liner. Okay, I know Jen loves reviews, does not like this. But I love it. It's so easy to use. Like, usually, I'm not very good at liquid liner, like, at getting them to look the same even though I've been doing it forever that's one thing that I struggle with the most and this one is so easy to use it's so quick and yeah I really like it I haven't had a problem with it like sometimes I'll get like running in the corner of my eye at the end of the day and it looks like disgusting like it gets all goopy and I was wondering if that was either from my liquid liner or the liner that I used to tight line so I switched both of them so I was using the Maybelline Stiletto liner before, whoops, and I really like that one, but I find there's like little fibers that start to peel off, and that was kind of annoying me, and then it was kind of like skipping my liner, 
So I got that one in my box, and I think I'm going to keep repurchasing that one because it works really well for me. Like, almost even better than the Stila liquid liner. I don't know. It just depends what you like. I like it because... Here, I'll show you again. I like it because it has a little bit of a thicker marker. Like, for me, this is the easiest to use. I know some people like a brush or something that's a little bit more flexible, but for me... The more flexible the more I screw up so this just gets like really precise and I was using the bourgeois waterproof liner to tight line and it was gooping up in the corners like crazy so I got this one which is surprising is it's way cheaper which is nice for me uh, covergirl ink it and this is just in black ink just a mechanical pencil I do prefer the mechanical pencils they're just easy to use they don't stab me in the eye I find when I have ones that I have to sharpen sorry keep moving the camera when I have to sharpen them I always end up getting little like there's like little wood shards that kind of stab your eye when you're trying to tight line and that's not fun for anyone so yeah I only have a couple more products that I wanted to talk about um, this is the Kula SPF 30 makeup setting spray which is awesome because my friend and I were talking about this. We're like, how has nobody come out with an SPF setting spray yet? Like, this is the smartest idea ever. I mean, obviously, you'd want to use a sunscreen on your face before you apply your makeup. But this is just awesome for setting it. And then, let's say you're at the beach and then you want to just do something quick. You know it's not going to ruin your makeup. Um, and it has that extra bit of SPF. It does say to shake well. And for some reason it says to put on your your hands first and then put it on your face, but I just spray it on my face. Yeah, I don't know. It says directions. Do not spray directly onto face. Spray on hands, then apply to face before sun exposure. Reapply after 80 minutes of swimming or sweating. So yeah, it's really nice. It doesn't smell great, but who cares? Just shake it up and it's really it has a really fine mist. really nice um yeah so I've been enjoying that and then of course I had to get on board with the Jouer I returned something at Sephora and that's why I ended up getting this what did I return uh, oh I bought the Fenty powder in lavender to put under my eyes <sighs> you guys like I do not like anything as much as I like the e.l.f. under eye setting powder. Okay, I'm sorry if you can hear buzzing. My boyfriend's te texting me. Um, yeah, that's just my favorite one. I've never liked anything as much as I like that one. It's the only one that doesn't make me look like crepey and cakey under my eyes. I even have the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Not into it. I have tried it on my face too. I'm like, okay, maybe it's just not for the under eye. Maybe people really love it for the face. No, I don't really like it. I don't know what's wrong with me, but you know what I use on my face to set my makeup is actually um, a Nude by Nature powder in ivory. I do apologize if you live in the United States. Um, you can't get this there. You can only get it in... I know you can get it in Australia. You can get it in the UK. You can get it in Canada. But for some reason, it's not um, in the US yet. But it's so smooth. There is a little, like, netting there so that it doesn't go all over the place. There's a little stopper as well. It's so smoothing on the skin. Honestly, if you have any kind of, like, forehead wrinkles or anything, I just, like roll it onto the skin. I usually use, this is the brush that they sell with it. Um, this is a Nude by Nature brush. I think it's just called the Flawless brush. And honestly, you just like roll it on. And when you roll it on, especially like around your wrinkles, it just like smooths them. It makes them disappear, pretty much. Oh yeah, so anyways, I um, returned the Fenty powder because I don't know, it just looked crepey under my eye. Couldn't get it to work. And then I had passed the days for returning, which is fine because I ended up getting this instead, which is the Jouer 
palette in Hot Coral and Terracotta Sands. It's the Cheeky Summer Blush Duo. I think you've probably seen this before. Everybody's talking about it. This is more true to color, like down here. It looks very light, but it goes on. Very pigmented. So I'd say just like be careful with how much you use or use a good brush and then just blend it out. I'm wearing it today. It actually doesn't look that dark, but it's really good. It's really nice. Love it. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but it doesn't really like emphasize a lot of texture on the face. Uh, I do have a lot of texture. I have quite large pores, but I find it doesn't really emphasize it too much. Um, something else that I bought, another eyeshadow palette was, or is, this one here, Hanging in Hawaii. This is BH Cosmetics. It's so beautiful. I've been using it every single day since I bought it. Sorry, my desk is disgusting and dirty. Anyways, um, yeah, it's beautiful. Like, this is very true to the color. This is pretty much exactly what it looks like. There are some cool colors, there are some warmer colors on the uh, right side. Beautiful. It's really nice. I've been using it, seriously, every day since I've gotten it. I will have to try that neon palette, though. Um... And the McKnight Twins are the reason I ended up buying that because they're like, we wear it every day. And I loved their makeup look, so I was like, getting it. And it was cheap. I think in the States it's like $14 or something ridiculous. I ended up paying 20 or 25 or something with shipping because I got it right off of BH. Um, did I get it off the BH site or did I get it from Malta? I think I got it off the BH site and then I ended up getting a discount too because it was my first purchase. And what else? Oh, I bought some slides, some Adidas slides, which I'm obsessed with and I wear them like every day. Obviously, everybody has those Adidas slides, so I'm just trying to follow the trend and be cool. No, they're actually just so comfy and they're very... I don't know, they're just easy to like run out of the house, especially like we live in a condo and we have to take our dog outside, it's easy to just slip them on and go. And then this is just a uh, oversized t-shirt from a pretty little thing and I also have some earrings that I bought that are so cute, can't find them, they're like hoops and then they have like a line through them and I love them. Uh, I don't know where I put them though. But yeah, I think that's everything. Oh yeah, um, another thing I really love from Pretty Little Thing is they have the oversized sweaters. So I have one in gray and I have one in beige and they're so comfy and they're just like easy loungewear. Like that's what I'm all about. Like plain loungewear. Like I'm just wearing some, uh, sorry, they're full of dog hair. I'm wearing some Lululemons and oversized t-shirt and that's what I wear on the weekend. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I know there was a lot of stuff and I'm not very great at reviewing stuff, but that's everything I bought for the summer and I love them. Thanks for watching. Bye.